When I mention Kamaishi, people say that's a rugby town, isn't it? I believe we have to cherish this town. We were raised here. It's part of our identity. It's in our DNA. On Wednesday, Kamaishi Recovery Memorial Stadium will host the Rugby World Cup game between Fiji and Uruguay. It comes eight years after the city and its rugby team, the Sea Waves, were devastated by the Tohoku earthquakes and tsunami. On that day, we had rugby training. Then I went home. I was just relaxing when suddenly there was a lot of shaking. I thought the shaking was horrific. I heard voices shouting outside. I thought it must be really bad. Then there were company workers coming back from the seafront. They all said the tsunami was really horrific. Instead of news about rugby, it was all about how terrible things were here. I think there is no doubt that the sea waves are a source of strength for the people of Kamaishi. When the earthquake occurred on the 11th of March, the rugby season had not begun yet. And then April and May came. The rugby season was about to start, and it became crucial that they should begin training. The people in this town said to them, we can handle things now. You guys should start practicing. Some people here today have never seen a rugby match before, and the World Cup is coming soon. So I'm going to show them how to cheer for their team. We will all sing a song together. I want to tell them that the best thing about rugby is the connection between the players and the fans. In an effort to help rugby mad Kamaishi rebuild, the municipal government launched its bid to host part of the 2019 Rugby World Cup. It will do so at a new stadium, which will become a focal point for this rugby town. I hope the stadium is going to inspire all sorts of new development in this town. And also that it will be full of smiling children, kids playing rugby together with their families, and a special community spirit. 